as you can see, I've just blocked the little koala in using um, a white and black charcoal pencil just to see if I could get these yellow wattle dots covered over. I think I can. So I'm just going to come in with a bit of alcohol, um, rubbing alcohol just on a, a brush just to get that pastel set in there so I can come in and go over that again. I wasn't expecting to put a koala here, otherwise I wouldn't have put the yellow dots there. I like to do the animals in the pastel because they sort of seem to blend in with the background a bit better than if I'd done them in, a, in acrylic where I find they stick out a bit more. It's just, I really like to do this with some of the mixed media pieces, the pastel animals. I think they just have a different texture and just a different outcome. Just put a bit of this alcohol on here. I'm going to dip my brush with alcohol back into the container. So all I did was just block in some colours with the with the charcoal. I'm obviously going to come back in now and go over that again. I just wanted to see if it was going to look any good. I could easily remove the charcoal with some water if it didn't. But I'm pretty happy with that. Got pretty good coverage over those yellow spots. Bit of koala coming under here. Just go over that black spot there. Okay. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Dry and then I'll come in and finish the koala. Okay, so the alcohol is dried and now I'm ready to do the koala. I've got a few supplies in front of me here. Um, hopefully you can see them okay. Okay, so I've got these holders which are really great for holding these sticks. These are Koh Noor um, titanium white and ivory black sticks. Um, they're supposed to be very good for getting the blacks and the whites in. I've also still got the black and white charcoal pencil ready to use. And I've brought in some um, Prismacolor new pastels. So I've got a few shades of grey here um, and some very pale yellows because there's some shades of yellow in the fur and just a, a darker yellow just to bring that in, just to put a few little highlights in. Um, so I'm going to start on, on the little koala and I, I'm not going to make this a, a photorealistic koala. I just want to get some strokes in just to put him in place and have him sort of, because of it's the pastel, just to sort of go into the background a little bit more. So. Um,
because I had only the existing colours and the ampersand board behind the koala, um, I'm running out of texture to put some more, lay down some more pastel for some details. Um, I'm going to try some of my Neo Colour 2s just to see if they make any difference. The good thing about the Neo Pastel 2s is I've used them before and when you spray the fixative, what happens is it maintains the darks and you lose your whites and your light tones. Um, and at times I've had to like go over animals. I remember going over ko koala like five or six times before in between sprays of fixative. So um, to cut a long story short, I actually did a green tree frog where I used Neo Color 2s and when I sprayed the fixative, kept the lights beautifully. So I thought I'll give this a try and let's see how we go. Okay, so I want to get some more, actually I want to get a little bit of dark in here. Okay, that's going on quite well. Now let's try for the white. Now, let's add some definition on this forehead. 